Hi YouTube land loves, welcome back to my channel. I just have to say I had so much fun making this. So here we go, colorful sugar skull. Now I started off with the primer, make sure you let the primer sit for a while, about four minutes. Then I went in with a NYX pencil and white Halloween cream paint, mixed it all in and boom, there it is. Now with a black eyeliner, I went ahead and drew on the eye socket shape that I wanted the temples. I touched my cheekbones to see where I was going to draw that line and finally ended up with the jawline. Now I used a really fine point liquid eyeliner. If you do use an eyeliner, make sure you use a felt tip. It would have been a lot more detailed and there's a lot more control I feel with a felt tip eyeliner. So that's just a tip. Now going in with an inexpensive black eyeshadow, I started filling out the areas that I had drawn out. Make sure that when you're putting this on, you're not really rubbing it on, you're more patting it on. And it's easier to start with a lighter hand and then deepening as opposed to starting with a dark hand and having to take away. Now for the nose area, uh, you can do an upside down heart, a triangle, whatever you want. This is the shape that I ended up going with and then I filled it up with black Halloween paint. Also using black Halloween paint, I darkened up those original lines that I had drawn. It made it really easy to make that gradient 3D kind of look. And take your time, make sure that you're staying within the lines. I also ended up doing the top of my head right there. Now using red Halloween paint, I started doing the eye sockets. Start with a little bit and then rub it down. It's easier, again, to start with a little as opposed to a lot. Now I want to do a gradient look so with the NYX pencil I drew in white right around and then I blended it making sure that I wasn't mixing the white and the red. Now with the red eyeshadow I went in over the red to make sure I set it and then going in with the pink I started in the middle and started blending those together adding any more red or any more white if you need. Now with the liquid liner I started drawing on the petals and then filling them in. It took a long time, so I won't make you guys watch. But that's what it should look like. Now using these stick-on jewels that you can use for your phones, I got a Joann fabric. I put those on. Now that took a while, so I'm not going to make you guys watch. So there you go. Both eyes completely done. Now using a white eyeshadow. I place it on top of the white area to make sure it's just set because your eyes are going to be moving a lot and it is a little bit of a creamy eye makeup. Now moving on to the mouth, I made sure that I covered up all my flesh color and started drawing the lines with a liquid liner. Take your time with this. You can make as many teeth as you want, you can make them small, big, scary, cute, whatever you want to do. And then I just connected the lines. Now on the inside of my lips, I added a little bit of black just to kind of cover up that flesh lip color. Then going in with a black. I filled in the lines right there and kind of connected everything. I darkened it a little and then with a smaller brush, I darkened the rest of the lines with the black eyeshadow. Kind of going a little bit outside the lines to kind of make it look, I don't know, a little bit more creepy. Now, because I did want to go girly and colorful, I did put a little bit of red and pink on my lips and of course the cheeks. It is a colorful sugar skull. Now for the details, I did get some ideas from Google and using a silver eyeliner, I pre-drew the details before I started going in with the darker stuff, like these colored eyeliners. So here it is. I also used uh, more jewels all over the face and I colored in a lot of the details with the eyeshadow. Also with the NYX pencil, I drew in three rectangles, kind of to look like a neck bone, and then one in with the black Halloween paint. Just take your time with this. So here she is. I hope you like it. I hope you have fun doing this if you end up doing it. 
Hope you enjoy. Happy Halloween, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.